Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on WebLogic Administration. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to create domain template and also we are going to see how to access the WebLogic console. So let's start to this session. So this is what this is what we are going to learn in today's session how to create the domain templates and we'll see use a weblogic console for administration before going to jump into those topics so let me explain you how the managed server communicate with the admin server so this is very important point we should know before understanding how to create a domain and template because within the domain we have the admin server and we have the managed server so whenever we start a managed server okay so what will go it will first request will be will the first point will be start managed server suppose the managed server name is server b so we'll give the command start managed server b the first will call go to the machine where the admin server is installed so the admin server will get first notification and that admin server will communicate to the node manager so the node manager actually sent the request to the managed server so first request will go to the admin server on machine one where it will continuously listen the messages or the request and by using rmi port it will send that request to the node manager the node manager accept that request and will send the request to the managed server and the managed server will start if the node manager is not up then you will not able to start the managed server so make sure whenever you start the managed server node manager is up and running then and then he can able to accept the request from the admin server once the managed server is start it will give the response back that the managed server is started however for starting the managed server all the required configuration will be referred from the admin server so if you remember there is a config.xml which reside in the admin server the same copy of that same file will be created in the managed server as well if the admin server is not available and if you configure managed server for independent uh, independence then managed server listen that or read that the config.xml so by this way the first request go to the managed server whenever we start the managed server once the managed server admin server is received that message it sent to that message to the node manager and node manager helps to start the managed server mm -hmm. so even we are just starting the managed server it requests go to the admin server then to the node manager and finally to the managed server so we have to make sure whenever we are starting managed server admin server should be up and also node manager should be up now we can go back and see more detail about the domain templates we can create a domain template during the installation of weblogic or if you have already created domain template you can use that a domain template to create your own template in your environment what does it mean for for example we have development environment uat environment and production environment now we if we have already created one template for a domain template for uat environment we can use that domain template to create a template for the development or the prod environment so this is kind of reuse use of the template instead of configuring the same thing again and again we can utilize that template uh, we can create that template one time and we can reuse that for multiple locations. A domain template defines a full set of resources within a domain, for example, data source or JMS queues. Although BE provides templates for creating any platform domain, you can wish to create your own or customize an existing template. So, not only use but you can customize that template you can modify the properties and export that or you can save that template for the next usage the domain template builder lets you define the templates whenever you install weblogic server there is one common folder within that you will see the 
template builder you can use that so for if you're installed on the windows you will see the um, config builder dot uh, cmd if you're installed on the unix you will see the config builder dot sh so which is nothing but the template builder which can be used to build the templates we can define a temp uh, domain and replicate it across the multiple projects it also helps to distribute a domain packed with as application that has been deployed to run in it so we can not only just export the definition of the config we can also export the project within that app uh, domain also how to create a domain template while well, creating a domain template uh, we have to uh, we we have to use the domain template builder then we have to select the configuration template source we also need to define the uh, describe the template we have to add the files to template we can add sql script to template that is also possible we can configure the administration server username and password we can specify that is in the start menu entries we can review the template and finally create the template starting domain template builder we can start using gui mode in windows environment <coughs> or you can use the script like config builder if you want to start in the so if you see this this is the example in this figure you can see the domain template existing template or uh, uh, template extension at the bottom which we, we can make uh, once we call the config builder script it will help us to get one of this window we can pull the existing window existing template or we can create new template then it will show us one graphical steps and finally it will create a template for us so this is the screen you will see if your web logic is already installed and you are in the windows system you can go to the start menu and from the programs you can see the oracle web logic there you will see the servers and tools within the tools you will see the uh, template builder so before we going to console administration let me show you how to create a domain template the location of the config builder is inside web logic oracle common common and build a bin directory and you will see the config builder then what you have to go to you have to go to the command prompt so i have already went there and uh, you have to go to that path till the bin directory and run the config underscore builder dot cmd as i'm running in the windows system i'm run uh, using the cmd command once we enter it it will take like couple of seconds depending on your processing power of your system uh, so normally uh, sorry for example let me uh, so it takes few uh, few minutes or so so i already opened that by executing this command comma uh, config builder dot cmd and this is the very first windows you will get so here this is the path of web logic user project domain you can specify your domain for example it says uh, create a domain template so you can specify of whether you want to use any particular domain so i'm going to use this domain wls underscore domain which i already created template location it will be created under users project templates and this is the template dot jar uh, there is option you can use uh, any template if you know if you don't know then you can just choose the uh, domain based on that you want to create a template if you want to extend the existing template you can use the create extension template but i'm going to create completely new template so let's start click on the next button so this will go to the uh, it will check the template information template summary there is a next step is configuration process and then we will get the end of the configuration the name of uh, domain will be the wls underscore domain the version of the web logic 12.2.1.2 and this is from oracle you can customize this information click on the next button you will see uh, if you have any deployments the deployments will be picked accordingly let me show you more so this is uh, the deployments will be picked from this domain the cluster name and the, the server names will be picked as per this definition and there is, this is the summary actually now you can click create and this will create a template for us 
click on the next button this will go to the the location where the template got created so let me show you the directory inside web logic user project templates and this is the jar file got created if you want to extract and you want to see what it contains you can just unzip it and you'll see this this is the template related files it has a bin config security and other files but no need to extract this just to show you guys i have just extracted and just you can close so by this way you can create a template and you can use this template at multiple location so that you don't need to configure again and again in every project so let's go back and see some more details about config uh, console administration the weblogic console can be used to administer various activities like we can configure attributes of the resources we can deploy the applications we can monitor uh, the resources uses also we can display the log messages we can start or shut down the servers like admin server or manage server too and we can perform the other activities like jms uh, the admin console uses jms api and mbins for its uh, internal implementation so based on these technologies the uh, md uh, the weblogic administration console works so starting of the administration console so you have to use host name then port and the console as a word this if you use http that is unsecure if you want to secure mode you have to use https but you, you have to make sure you have ssl enabled for your web logic you have to uh, you will get this screen when you hit that uh, local uh, the host name and port and the console you have to pass the username and password once the username and password is sent you will see this screen at the left hand side you will see the domain structure on the right hand side you will see the when you select any component in the left side the details are mentioned on the right hand side if you want to shut down the server you can shut down if you want to start if you want to start then you can start the server the additional property will be mentioned in the advanced section for each of this component there is a one file called as a config.xml the config.xml file adheres to an xml schema that can be used for the validation config.xml aggregates configuration information from one configuration file representing web logic server subsystem which adheres to its own xml schemas also this file is located inside config folder inside the domain and it has subdirectories which has its own purpose for example consider this a uh, domain directory structure so in inside the domain directory uh, you will see the in the uh, the current domain configuration and deployment will be in that config.xml uh, the conf config cache will contain the cache configuration information the deployment will contain the all the uh, deployment project this is the staging a area for the application the diagnostic will contain system module for the instru instrument uh, instrumentation in the web logic diagnostic service this is specific service in the web logic the jdbc will contain the system modules for the jdbc what are the data source you configure in the web logic server that information will be in the jdbc module jms will have the system module for the jms for the messaging then we have the node manager configuration information in the node manager lib folder contain the libraries and the security will have the system module for the security framework so this is the structure inside the domain predictable distribution of the domain configuration changes the changes uh, change management feature of the web logic enables us to distribute changes throughout the domain securely consistently and predictably the change management behavior is the same regardless whether you are using web logic console or you are using the scripting tool which is as good as the administration console but instead of using the graphical mode it's kind of uh, 
console mode or you can use the in the script mode or you can use the jmx so either of way if you use any of this approach the change will be applicable in the same way to use the change management we have to use the change center region in the web logic administration console we will see that shortly the configuration change process is like this the web logic configuration change management process is loosely resembles as a database transaction so if you remember in the database transaction if it is two phase commit then we first commit one data uh, then uh, then we commit the sec uh, we actually make the transaction first then we make the transaction two if transaction two then we can roll back the transaction one so overall the that two transaction it depends on the two phase commit so we have to commit two times unless it is done that the rollback will happen on the same line the configuration change in the web logic also work in the same line the domain configuration is a represented two ways on the file system by a set of xml configuration files centralized in the config.xml so you can see the domain details in the config.xml file or at a runtime by hierarchy of the configuration ambience when we edit the domain configuration we edit a separate hierarchy of configuration ambience that resides on the administration server when you activate the changes it it's a two phase commit process each server determines whether it can accept the change if all server are able to accept the change they update their own working configuration hierarchy and then update is completed so the update happens two times so these are the about the console details so let's try to access the console by using the web logic console so it says server is not so we have to make sure our server is up so what i'll do i will go to the command prompt run as an administrator I have to go to the directory of bin so you have to go to the actually the user project domains web logic domain and there will be bin so make sure you are you are in this directory uh, normally it takes uh, in if you are in a real time project like maybe um, like it's a dev environment or it's in a UAT environment it takes quite like a uh, few minutes uh, let me copy first this but in my system it, as it is a local environment it 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 will start within seconds let me this and start web logic and enter so you can see it first loaded the class path it ch check the uh, java memories also so you can customize this memory parameters so as we proceed further in this web logic console i will explain you how to edit all this property how to edit path class path etc variables so this is just now you can see the security realm is getting initiated the server is starting so you can see the stage is starting and it's now running now at this time if i try to access the console you will be able to access it so now you can see the different page which says the deploying the application for console so whenever you actually start the application or the start the web logic server it actually deploys those what are the application present in the deployment directory or in the deploy temporary deployment of file structures so now the my uh, so as i said the web, uh, we need to provide the whenever you start application you have to first screen will be providing the username and password so inside this you will see the domain part, uh, partitions you will see the environment inside environment you will see the servers at the left hand side you will see the tree structure what are the all the components on the right hand side you will see the information now suppose you want to start or the st start or the stop this one of the managed server you can go to the control and you have to start it right now my node manager is not started so when i start any of this managed server it will complain for example let me start this manage to so you have to select it and start it 
so it says for server managed to the node manager associated with machine one is not reachable so how to fix that you have to go to the node manager and start it and then come back and start the manage server then and then it will work if you want to stop it just select that and go to this shutdown so you have two options either you can make this shutdown when the work is done on that managed server or you can force shutdown now so it doesn't wait to complete the work which is going on this managed server so you can choose either of that option and you can execute it so these are the two uh, things let's see the what is directory structure inside the domain so this is web logic now as we say we have the various uh, directories auto deploy bin common config console extension node manager library init info so these are the various folders which has its own purpose uh, let's see the config uh, file which will be it should be at the one second yeah it should be at the server level let's go to servers and these are the various domains uh, uh, servers we have created inside web logic uh, inside server data and so okay let me go back okay there is a config and you can see the config folder so config file config.xml so this file is very important and it follows the xml standards it contains all the information about domain what is the name of domain what are the components installed etc so you can see it has a managed server server template is there so all the information about domain is mentioned in this file and uh, i hope uh, this tutorial is going to help you to understand how to create a domain template also it will help you to understand how to use the weblogic admin console thank you for watching my video and have a nice time